surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good. V, away. you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to peddle it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So? Just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? There was too great a risk someone would take. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Uh, 
I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Uh, come on, did you get your hands Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave him trapped? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget how you see you around the town. Somebody's shoulder and you're breaking down. And I'm not the you. Can't be glad. Gotta make your best friend. Let's go. Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? All is. Sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning, of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh,. Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work. Stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Would you help me look? 
Sure thing. Nada. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, th this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Don't see a problem here. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you... I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
We could still Put your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contexts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. Scorpion. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Own kind of gold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? got maps of the heavens in your library too of course that's the big dipper and do you see the small flickering star on the right uh, yeah you do oh dear that means there's a major leak good night B Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Shoot him! 
the damn coupler. Extreme is <sighs> Mitch, Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move! Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. It begins.
What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Did you hear about God? He did not make it. If only. But I do not believe he was drunk this time. It's been a week. Oh. <laughs> I was also not a fan, but... Family is family, hmm? Yes.